And joining me now from Rhone is Christian Blasberg, a professor in contemporary history at Guido Carli University. Uh, firstly, as someone who's been living in the world's longest lockdown, what has it been like for you? Well, it was kind of a, well, a little bit like being in prison, yes, because uh, the lockdown was very hard. It was not like in other countries that, uh, let's say, movements were possible. We were really restricted to stay in home and for any kind of uh, uh, getting out of any kind of getting around for um, also just, let's say, sh buying a couple of things or so. We needed a passport or, let's say, a, a, a module um, which um, uh, indicated the reason why we have to go out. Otherwise, it wasn't possible. So basically, yes, we were staying for two months really in the house. And that starts, well, at the beginning, it was a little bit, uh, you could take it with uh, with ease with uh, some jokes. But uh, in the last weeks, it became more and more heavy and uh, um, it is it is good that now um, let's say we, we come to uh, to an, an easing of the situation and we can go out. I was just in, uh, on the street uh, this morning just to to look around what was going on and uh, I felt really the um, the relief of people who could now go out uh, a bit more still. All are wearing masks. Still, you need also a module that certifies the reason why you are around. But I have the impression that um, more shops are open, that uh, people feel really relieved uh, after two months. It couldn't uh, have gone much longer. But the country has paid a heavy price, hasn't it? Especially as it was already suffering from serious economic problems. That's the main problem of the country. Of course, uh, it was in economic trouble. It will be in much, much deeper economic trouble uh, in the aftermath of the crisis. And uh, this, of course, hits the country very hard. Um, we have all followed the discussions also about uh, uh, European aid, uh, European help uh, going to Italy. And Italy was insisting very much on uh, the so-called Corona bonds. That means a common solidarity of all countries. Uh, that would step in uh, in, a, in a crisis which for the first time now is really felt as not being uh, caused by the Italians, but um, they're not guilty for it. For any previous um, situation, there was always a, a sense of maybe the Italians themselves are also responsible for what had happened. Had happened. This time, uh, we cannot say it, and uh, the Italians are very uh, proud on this, that uh, they say, well, uh, this time we really deserve uh, some solidarity, some help in order to overcome the situation. Also, weighing the, the death toll of the, of the corona crisis and the um, eventual consequences of the uh, of uh, a restart of the, the economy at the price of maybe even going higher risks in society, in contact and infecting more people, um, starts to shift from a responsibility more to a sense of um, saying, OK, we have to risk it. We need to uh, try and uh, go on because uh, otherwise the country is uh, literally uh, dying. It was literally starving. So this is something that uh, places um, economic consequences on the same level as uh, the death toll of, uh, of a pandemic. Professor Blasberg, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you.